Welcome to Getting Clean on the Prairies. It is a uh, beautiful spring day here on the Saskatchewan Prairies. It is uh, March 13th, I believe, and the snow is starting to melt. And uh, the days are getting warm, above freezing during the day. But it's still not too late to do some uh, winter sowing, so I'm going to do some more uh, today. I want to try uh, starting a few cool weather crops and I'm going to be using, instead of milk jugs, ice cream pails. So I have three prepared here already with my soil. I got holes drilled in the bottom and a bunch of holes drilled in the top of the lid. So I'm very um, curious to see if this will do as well as a milk jug. Um, it will be nice if it works out well because these are very easy to put together. You don't have to do any cutting. You don't have to worry about duct tape. And when you go to um, open it up to let some air in, it's easy to pull these lids off and put them back on. So fingers crossed that this um, is a good uh, container to use for winter sowing. But I have some bok choy and some purple kohlrabi. I'm going to give it a try. I figured I got tons of these seeds. I might as well try sprinkling them in the jugs and see if they sprout. There's no reason why they shouldn't and grow into um, edible plants. The other thing I want to try today is broccoli and I'm very excited to try these seeds. They are seeds that I got through the Canadian Seed Exchange Challenge and these came from um, Elizabeth and her channel is called um, Elizabeth's Adventure. So please check it out. I will put her uh, link to her channel down below. But she's also a great Canadian gardener and she sent me some green sprouting broccoli. So I'm going to try that in one of these jugs as well. My first time growing broccoli of any kind. So, so we will start off by just sprinkling a generous uh, amount of seed into each of these. The bok choy. I said I got lots of seed here so I might as well give it a try. There's the bok choy seed. Small little pebbles. So I'm going to do a generous layer all throughout here. I think quite a few just fell out of my hand so purple kohlrabi. Seeds look very similar to the uh, bok choy. So if I was going to plant these um, just using a regular method, I would still be starting these indoors six to eight weeks um, prior to planting outside. And these have a, a maturity date of 75 to 80 days. So. So now that I have everything planted up here, I'm just going to, I've marked everything with a, I'm using a spoon to write uh, what's in the pot and the date that I planted it. I'm just gonna put a light layer on top of each, cover these seeds. So as I said, the days are getting a little bit warmer here, and uh, but we still have nighttime freezing temperatures. So these should still probably they shouldn't they won't germinate anytime soon until it gets a little bit warmer during the day and overnight temperatures aren't quite as cold. So that's okay. I want these to freeze in and just sit and wait for the for the right time before they germinate. So I didn't really moisten this as much as I should have to begin with. So I'm going to give everything another top drink here. I want everything to be super wet. And I've also filled these um, metal tr aluminum trays with um, quite a bit of water. So I'm going to let the, the jug soak up the water from below and give it a good drink on the top. So 
So like I said, I just poured a bunch of water into the trays. I'm gonna let them sit in here for about an hour, soak up all the moisture it can, and then we'll head out to my uh, winter sowing area and I'll give you some more um, updates on what's going on. So I'm just out here at the garden checking on the, the winter jugs that I got going. Gonna add the rest here. As you can see, we have still got lots of snow in our yard to melt, but that's good. That means uh, moisture and we don't want things to dry up too quickly here in the middle of March. So I had my uh, winter jugs here just tucked into this snow bank and I think as it melts, um, before it melts I think I'm going to just move them into some area here where they can get lots of sun and protected from the wind. So there are a couple things you want to think about when you have your jugs out here and it's uh, starting to thaw and that is just to make sure they're you know under the wind because when they uh, thaw out and uh, get a little bit lighter they might blow away. Um, keep them somewhat insulated. I'm going to be um, using this straw that I use to grow my potatoes and stuff in. I have quite a thick layer so I'm going to keep my jugs in the straw that'll help retain moisture. So when you're placing your jugs out, you want to make sure that you don't have them against a building underneath any kind of eaves or under benches, tables, because you want to make sure that they can get any natural moisture from rain and snow that they can. Last year, um, when my jugs started to sprout, I was looking back on my records and my first sprouting happened about third week of April. So we're still a month away from that, so I'm not expecting to see much happening in these jugs anytime soon. So you really can't be too concerned about when and if these um, jugs will sprout. Um, it all depends on Mother Nature. Every year can be different if we have a warm spring, cold spring. But these seeds know when the time is right um, and the conditions are good. They'll germinate and hopefully they will flourish in these jugs. So I hope you enjoyed uh, another winter sowing video here on the prairies and please stay tuned. I will be updating you throughout the next few weeks on how the winter sowing jugs are doing along with all my other um, indoor growing. So please leave a comment, give me a like and we will see you on the next video.